Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season 9, episode 16. Oh, crikey, I'm going to have to stop doing this for the this show's just got too many seasons and episodes. Is the finale? I am suspicious of Sadiq. I have seen the videos, the theory videos about did Sadiq betray Hilltop? I'll put it, I think someone did. Somehow they got all of those people together in that pen and there were several really good fighters in that group. So I think they had to be full. To be honest, in season seven and eight, I would have just put it down to a giant plot hole. But I feel like this season has been too sophisticated that it would leave us that size of a plot hole. And I was watching one of the fan videos and showing that the promotional photo that they sent out, you had Sadiq and Tara sat next to each other at sort of the head of the group. And Tara is just, they're looking at each other in Tara's face. And the, the whole theory is that there, there's also a moment just before Ezekiel comes over and starts talking to Alpha. And Alpha is looking at Eugene, Gabriel and Rosita. And it looks like she's making a choice to kill one of them. If her choice had been Rosita, was Sadiq caught first, asked to grab Rosita, made a trade for Tara? <sighs> I don't know. Because I was really moved by, by Sadiq's speech. I was I was in that moment completely. I wasn't second guessing him. But yeah, you know, when you look back across the whole thing and think, how do all these people get taken? Especially Henry with the banging on the pipe stuff was even like, how would Alpha and her team even know that that was a responsibility of Henry's? That episode was so beautifully written because the everything that was supposed to be funny was hilarious. Everything that was supposed to be touching brought tears to your eyes and everything that was devastating ripped your heart out. They did everything pretty much perfectly which leaves me really fascinated about how they're going to wrap the season up. I can't believe we're going to have the final showdown with Alpha now in a 47 minute episode at the end of the season. It feels like there would be more, but wow, I'll be fine if I'm wrong because I'll get a lovely surprise and this will be a very, very packed episode. I saw a lot of people saying Unleash the Negan personally. I'm one for justice to justice, and I would really like to see Carol actually take Alpha out. I think Negan would be invested. You know, one of his wives was killed. I think he does have an affinity for the some of the group now. And if Alpha goes within 500 miles of actually doing Judith some damage, I actually think Negan would kill her. But what I keep wanting to remind the people who are going, release the Negan, is we beat Negan. Negan isn't the nuclear button to me. Carol is the nuclear button. Michonne is the nuclear button. We beat Negan. He's not tougher or badder ass than we are. Carol is twice as badass as Negan. She won't just beat you with a baseball bat, she'll burn you alive. <laughs> So I want I want Carol to get this justice. I'd love it if Negan was a part of it and it was how he got out of the cell and maybe became part of our communities. But it's all about Carol for me. Anyway, that's enough chatting. I want to get on and see this finale. Without further ado, let's have at it. The radio. Oh, it broke. And we can't fix it. I kept trying to hold on. We did. But things fall apart. No! The cold set in. The rot spread. It's knowing when to keep fighting and... Look her! Knowing when it's over. They're devastated. They are... Devastated. If only for now. Winter is here. But we'll never forget the magic we felt in this place. Oh. God damn 
ねUncertain future. That's it. We must be valiant too. That's it. All of us together. Look at that. Oh, so the kingdom is over, done and dusted, and then they're going to be absorbed into other places. Which means, what are they not king and queen anymore? God, I hate, I hate her. God damn it. I can't believe the kingdom's gone. That's really upset me. Everyone's still reeling. Between Jesus, Tara, and the others we lost. And still nothing from Maggie. The council sent another letter. We haven't had anything back. Well, pulls. I need Maggie to come back. This is, stop fucking around Walking Dead. Pay her however much you need to pay the woman to come back, and I do know her name, Lauren Cohen, and bring her back. They really need Maggie. I don't know who else is gonna need. Maybe you, Mako? But I don't see anyone else. Aaron isn't a leader, I don't think. And he's at Alexandria anyway. No, 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 the cat's trying to get in. Hey mate. Okay, let's do this. I need Maggie back. She needs to lead the kingdom. I mean, at this point, don't we need a bit of a Georgie reboot? We could get some more, you know, trade going and stuff, maybe rehabilitate the kingdom. That's a cool project. I think Maggie and Georgie would be all over that myself, but we'll see. Play. Oh, what now? I swear to God. That's them, isn't it? They're not walkers. They're fucking whispers. It's them. <sighs> fucking pricks. Well, we followed their rules. Haven't they done enough to us? Hi. To lay off. It's not her fault, Alden. I know he how does. they feel about me. No, don't mean they get to talk to you like that. So I don't want to cause any more problems. It's their problem, not yours. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Just the torso. Oh. Henry wanted her here. Well, no one else did. She's a good kid. Every time I look at her, all I see is him. <laughs> Pose. Atticus. I absolutely hate that Carol's lost another child. There was so much about the way that that happened, the reveal of Henry's death happened, that was right back to season two episode seven pretty much dead already sophia coming out of the barn oh carol play you see when you look at me it's you i 
Yeah, boss. The barometer's taking a nose death. We've got a mother of a storm coming up. Wow, we're gonna see Alexandria in the snow too. Best bet is to go old school to keep toasty. I'd advise initiating winter one ice storm protocol. <laughs> Aaron's house and Barbara's have the largest working fireplaces. We'll divide into those. I'll get the word out. We'll gather up dry firewood, stock up, get cozy, and ride it out. We can't leave Negan. He'll freeze down there. We have to let him out. That's how he gets out for winter. Negan, do not fuck this up. Uh oh. I heard it's crossed. Winter walkers. Don't go off, Lydia. She will be gone when they swap. I knew it! <sighs> the past few months have been difficult for Carol and I. I'm hoping for a fresh start with her at Hilltop. And it'd be easier if it was just us. You think that's what Carol wants? What? Carol wants the same thing I do. To hold our son again. Shit. I'm not trying to be the bad guy here, man. I just want to get back a piece of what I lost. What we lost. <sighs> After everything, you, you think you could give me that? Ezekiel, that's not the way. That's not the way. Oh my God, that's how badly hurt he is. I don't need your side drama, Lydia. I really don't. I need you to start acting properly now. Or is she going to find something really cool in her? Ah! Oh my god. That is insane. This is everything I'd hope for in Winter Walkers. Is it frozen into like a... Oh, shit. Lydia. <sighs> I assume Carol's all nice and light covered. That's horrific. Oh, this is like Charlie and Fear all over again. Yeah, that's really close. Yeah, I thought so. You better get that glove back on your arm, girl. Henry is dead. You are alive. Live. That's what Carol's saying. Wait, where? Welcome to the sanctuary. Oh my God. This is nuts. I swear to God, I have memorized every square inch of this room. And it still feels like a party. <laughs> eh? Oh, Negan. Goddamn barn, and you're all bored shitless, but... Language! <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, kiddo. But, I mean, we've got ourselves this hot little love quadrangle here to entertain us. It's like Christmas to me. <laughs> you could try to be a little less predictable. Hurts, Gabe. Truly, that is a very mature attitude, Father. 
not the father. <laughs> Megan, don't be a that I'm thankful enough for you. <laughs> hey, kiddo. You still worried about that mutt? Daryl told me to take care of him while he helped the kingdom move to Hilltop. Where's Doug? I don't know where he is. <gasps> no! Does anybody else smell something? Can you stop being such an asshole? No. no. I don't think that's not funky in here. Uh oh. Get away from there. Uh oh. <laughs> Chimney's ventilation capabilities are nil to none. It'd be unwise to spark a, another blaze lest we plan on ceasing all respiratory functions, aka smoking and choking. <laughs> God, I missed you, Eugene. <laughs> Nick is in love with Eugene. Can't say the same. We should leave before the temperature drops. Anyway. Oh, come on. Not one of you assholes is gonna untie me? We could tell Michonne it was an accident. Oh my god! How are the whispers surviving this? They're just out there in this. I don't understand. Something happened back there with you and Ezekiel. No. Uh, I love you, Daryl. He's not one to play games. He only blames you because he can't let himself blame me. I feel like I'm losing myself again. I'm really trying to hang on, but I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I could take her away from here, keep her safe on my own. Do you want to go? No. No, I don't. What do you want me to do? Rick's bridge would have saved us. Could have cut half a day of our travel time. Ugh. I don't need a bridge. Creeks and ponds are frozen over. As long as we don't all go at once, we could probably just walk across. That's a good point, Carol. Those borders are hers, not ours. That's called comfort if we trigger a war. My people wouldn't be here like this if it wasn't for me. No, they wouldn't be. Because they wouldn't be here at all. Yeah, they'd be dead. The kingdom hasn't fallen. It's right here. And that charter we signed, it means something. It means that these people aren't just yours anymore. They're ours. Mm. And we're going to get them home. They see us crossing that border, it could start something. And we'll finish it. They're gonna see us. And then we are gonna fuck them up. Seriously, oh, how are the whispers alive in this weather? Oh, is this the fucking pikes? You nearly did Henry last too, didn't you? I forgot to say, pause. I noticed when I was re-watching that Henry has like, it almost looks like someone with a bloody finger has like held his chin. I feel like we're gonna see that play out and find out what happened. And I have a feeling that Henry was killed last and that was Alpha, you know, holding his face. Oh. Play. I still can't get over Enid and Tara and Tammy and the Highwayman and DJ. Even Frankie. This is horrific. Dog! Oh god, I see walkers. Oh 
Oh my god, you can't see shit! What the fuck is that? Are they just frozen? Wait. If they're frozen solid, this is an opportunity. Because that means the Whisperer's walkers will be frozen solid. <gasps> oh my god! We could attack her in winter! She couldn't va- she wouldn't have the army! Is anyone else thinking this? Does anyone get it? All those walkers could be frozen solid and couldn't attack the communities, so she would be vulnerable. I'm gonna check the ice. Someone's going in that river. Right behind you. Negan and Judith are God knows where now. Yeah, I think we're good. Daryl, on your fucking chest, and you better fake swim across, because spread the weight out is what I'm saying. Weight distribution on ice. Hey, where's Lydia? I'm gonna go find her. You can get everyone across. I'll be right back. All right, what? Let's... She just said I'll be right back. Fuck. No! Hey! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh. I gotta say that this this is amazing. I'm shitting myself, but it's amazing. Creaking. We'll hold them back. Guys! Oh, Nabila. Doing this with little kids. I don't know how they've made it so far. Everyone's acting like getting to Hilltop's gonna make all our problems go away. Like it's gonna make everything better, but it's not gonna change shit. They're not gonna want me back. If they hadn't taken me in to begin with, all those people would still be alive. Your son's dead because of me. Your her son's dead because of your mother. It's not your fault. As long as I'm one of you, it's never gonna stop. You know what, right? There's only one way to fix this. Do you see it? It can be you. No one else has to know. You get your hands off my Daryl, right now. And you, fuck off. <gasps> no! Oh, no. Someone's getting icicled any moment now. Take that. Daryl's making ice weapons now. Everything's gonna be better when I'm gone. Oh, come on. Just do it. Do it for Henry. <sighs> Henry would not want this. Henry did not fucking die for this. Get out, Rick. Come on, we have to go. You need to at least do your coat up. Oh, look at them! She's fucking frozen to bits! 
Oh, Negan. Oh, God, Negan. Coming in clutch. Are you okay? Oh. If he dies here, I'm going to leave it. Your life looks like shit. Mm. Language, Miss Grimes. I'm real glad I found you. Oh. Okay, kid. Oh, this is yeah, fucking... Right. Oh, my God. I'm absolutely shitting myself. Oh. Don't like the look of this at all. Oh, Negan, I love you right now. My God. They made it. That is crazy. That is crazy. these portraits it's like our new kingdom only it's hilltop hey if we call it king top maybe we can make that a thing king top <laughs> cherry they are broken we're going to alexandria tomorrow with the others oh no i know you have to do this but i will never stop loving you <laughs> And I'll never regret the fairy tale. Oh, come on. Where were Negan and Judith? Is that Judith? RJ being not real now, please. It's everyone's interacting with him. He's a real child. They really need this. Negan. We're friends now. That's it. We're friends. She's a special girl. A damn spitfire. And you, you've been through enough. Is everyone okay? I love her face. Do you care? <laughs> I do know what it's like to lose a kingdom. See things fall apart. It sucks ass. The sanctuary is a shithole now. So you cut through their territory. <laughs> Or, facing evil brings good people together. No one ever thinks that they're the evil one. It's going to be helpful. And it's true, no one ever thinks Hitler didn't think he was the evil one. The time away has been good for the back. They're away. I was going to say they wouldn't be able to stay around in that weather. But I've made mistakes. Mistakes I can't make again. And you won't. You're strong. I'll need to be stronger for what comes next. You will be. Thought so. I knew it. Fucking hell. We'll make it through this win out of our discontent. When the snow melts and the wind's quiet, who knows what glorious summer may bring. Maybe you can even go back home to the kingdom someday. Just because we left our house doesn't mean we lost our home. Over and out. Over and out. 
he's just on his own now. What? What? Oh my god that was such a wonderful episode it was really like um like a game of thrones finale where you're moving the characters about and getting them in place and creating the plot lines for the next season which i really love because it means that you can start the next season you know running you've you've established where people are ezekiel and carol are separating she tries to give him back the ring you know, it was a fairy tale. <sighs> so I figure season one, we're going to see Carol at Alexandria. She, I really believe she's going to have short hair. I don't know if we're going to see her cut it. It seems to me like it would be great to have that scene where she cuts it. But they may choose not to just because it's been so set up now. We just have a fresh Carol with short hair at the beginning of the next season. And the reason why the hair is important symbolically is because of course we find out through Henry the original reason she cut it was because Ed, her violent husband, abusive husband we met in season one, uh, used to pull her around by it so she couldn't have long hair and it took her this long to feel safe enough to grow her hair again so I can't imagine she would keep the hair while she's feeling the way that she's feeling now. The time that she's had with Ezekiel and Henry was this mirage like a fairy tale and an actual reality was what happened before and after, which is absolutely true to, to Carol's character. It's the way I imagine she would react. Carol thought, would find it incredibly difficult to grieve with somebody else. And, you know, Ezekiel is someone who likes to fix it and he likes, to, he likes things to be happy. And this is something that he can't fix. He can't bring Henry back. He's in no position to even get vengeance or justice for Carol and he processes things with people he's very much an extrovert and a you know for him not being able to grieve with carol is like a double grief because he's now not only lost henry he's lost carol <sighs> i can't imagine how he would be able to dream again and believe the best again after suffering such a massive massive loss and I think we saw a touch of that in that conversation he had with Daryl, just completely out of character for Ezekiel. So even though there weren't many words in that conversation, I think what it was telling us was, look how fundamentally Ezekiel has been broken by this experience. Because now Daryl's a problem. I understand Lydia wanting to leave, but I am glad that it gave Carol the moment where she really had a choice she could have killed Lydia there and then. No one would have judged her for it. And Lydia didn't. But I'm really glad she didn't. And I actually think that in the longer term, Lydia and Carol could be a good fit. Well, they're both survivors of domestic abuse. Carol by her husband, Lydia by her mum. They both lost Henry. And they both loved Henry. And I, I think that actually Carol and Lydia and Lydia could do that for each other and be that for each other right now. I actually think they will probably be more help to each other than Ezekiel and Carol would because of the different way that they grieve. I absolutely love the Winter Walkers. I'm so hyped about this. And I'm glad I was right as well that the Whisperers would have had to move somewhere else because they couldn't operate in this climate. They're not there. Which at least gives us some time. As long as this wouldn't last, basically, we can think about an idea to do them in. I can't recall seeing Connie this episode and Daryl. And I really hope this whole thing hasn't put the kibosh on our um, Daryl and Connie romance. Because I really ship that. I really want to see more of that in the next season. I hope the next season is, is winter. 
I could do with that and I really hope that we find and perfectly execute a plan that deals with Alpha. I can't believe the season's over. I'm I'm a little bit... Ugh, I love that. Season 9B is my favourite half season ever. And I am so ready for season 10. I can't believe it. I'm excited for season 10. They have successfully rebooted The Walking Dead and created a new show with brilliant continuity from the show it was before and taking this in a, in a new direction and I love it. I did go back and listen to the radio. I mean, it's Rick or it's Maggie. That's it for now. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. I absolutely will be reacting to season 10 when that begins later this year. And the next thing you'll see me reacting to will be Game of Thrones season eight and i will also be reacting to the expanse as our catch-up show i've never watched a single episode of the expanse so thank you for sharing this ride with me i hope i've done it justice and please all come back for season 10 later in the year and of course hang around if you want to see me react to game of thrones and the expanse until then bye bye